I'm John from Surfex. And I'm God. This guy can introduce himself. This is the new Sonoa downwind foil stop. Uh, Marcus, who you've seen in our other videos, has left us and gone back to WA shaping full time for Sonova. And this is his latest creation. It's a, a it's the new downwind foil stop. So it can be used for surfing as well. It's got a great shape for it, but yeah, specifically a focused downwind stop. So nose rocker. It has. They've got more nose rocker up here yes. on the nose. That's this is where they put it. Hence the nose rocker. <laughs> tail rocker in the tail, not the middle. They've done the, uh, the step box like in the previous board, but they've added a bit more rocker to it so you do have a better release of it. It's it's a uh, let's, it yeah. lets you just pump and clear your tail a lot better and it helps better release when you just kick up onto the foil as well. Uh, one, we have it on the side like this, you can see how thick this board is. And that is kind of where the magic is. The volume of this, this is a 6'4", 111 liters. So they pack a lot into it. So coming downwind foiling, you're, well, how far offshore are you? A K, 2K, Some, not more than a K usually that. So, so you're out in the up. ocean, pretty well offshore. It's nice to have some when some float in it. Yeah, um, the swell moves quick, so you've got, you've got to get on easy then. The, the bigger volumes that I've ridden really help. I had a go of uh, something 125 litres and I was only on something really low under 80 and it was amazing like just to feel how easy it is to get up. Well, and that's it, it's all about making it easier to get going. So it is a fun board to surf as well. It's size wise, I mean 6'4 now this fits inside a hatchback so you don't need a big board to stop. Um, standard Sonova stuff, this is the balsa construction, You've got the carbon rail, nice deck grip with the ridge through it as well and a nice handle uh, to just cart it around because having a solid handle when you have the wing you foil on as well you know it's just especially if you have to go through shore break you want something solid to be able to get a grip of both uh outline quite a rounded outline with a nice beveled edge so doesn't catch doesn't catch nice easy release touchdowns don't stick so having that, yeah, when you come down and you touch your nose and stick, it usually means it just go flying. Yeah, you lose your stuff. speed and you have to get up again, that sucks. So having that bit of nose rocker and that nice big double up. This will bounce back up. It does bounce back up. So, yeah, Sonova come through again with their whole, you know, able to make different boards quite quickly. Um, and these have been already proven themselves to be you know, really popular with downwinding and that few guys have picked them up for surfing. Yeah, once you get downwinding, you might not care as much about surf either. So, the versatility of this board, I don't even have a surf sup anymore. I basically just use that. And like you explained, it's yeah, epic for surf. Big axis wing or the big go for wing? Um, big axis wing for my choice. Um, definitely, yeah, the 102 and the 92. And I know Marcus, the designer of this board, used the 82 a lot over in Perth. Really, we get, and he's yeah. really small. <laughs> he's not. He's a big heart. Yes, big heart, massive. Yeah, it's just proportionate to his body. It's big, it's so small. Yes, big heart. Massive. Yeah. It's proportionate to his body, it's big because he's so small. He's big. <laughs> In the right areas. <laughs> we love him, but he went to the other side of the country. <laughs> That's good for Cam, though.